euthanasia and doing my research I found that the Greek word for euthanasia means good death and he's also has called for universal health care so I know he was a big fan of the health care uh, bill that passed uh, recently in the White House. Again, we're here with Wayne Matson of WayneMatsonReport.com. Wayne's live in Washington, D.C. Wayne, Rahm Emanuel's influence in national politics, how did, beco how did he become so powerful, so revered by uh, many of those in Washington, D.C.? Uh, we, we recall he's been chief of staff twice, uh, once under President Clinton, and then more recently with President Obama. He was a U.S. representative of the 5th District in Chicago, a big-time political player. How did he rise to power in national politics? Well, he started out as a, um, uh, as a, as a campaign worker on, on various Democratic uh, uh, campaigns, most of them uh, presidential campaigns back in the 80s. Uh, the John Glenn campaign, uh, the uh, Paul Simon campaign in Illinois when they were running for president. Uh, he, he turned that into an entree to national politics. When Clinton was elected president, he winds up in a job in the White House, but immediately uh, 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 went at loggerheads with the first lady, Hillary Clinton, who basically tried to have him fired. Uh, he wasn't fired. He was he was laddled over. He worked for Mac McClarty, the chief of staff at the White House. And then in the late 90s, towards the end of the Clinton administration, he left um, he left the White House and got a job with this big Wall Street investment firm, Wasserstein Perella, where he made 16 million dollars, uh, which uh, of course helped uh, fund his future run for the U.S. Congress. Uh, and uh, so he's. He's definitely been a player ever since uh, as a, as a, um, uh, a U.S. congressman. Uh, he made it quite clear he, he wanted to become Speaker of the House. Of course, that didn't happen uh, when Obama, uh, during the campaign in 08, uh, we, because of his ties to Clinton, even though he didn't like Hillary Clinton, he was still very cl considered very, very close to Bill Clinton. Uh, he was neutral in that primary for a long time. Nobody really knew where he was going, but when, when Obama started to win um, uh, in caucuses and, 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 and certain primaries, of course, then uh, Emmanuel decided he was going to go with the winner, uh, the perceived winner, and he, and he uh, announced that he was supporting uh, Obama, and, and then, of course, uh, the rest is history. He winds up as the chief of staff. He's not very well liked here in Washington. Uh, he, he was... Uh, uh, known, uh, he was actually feared uh, by the Democrats and Republicans on the Hill as somebody who was, you know, basically uh, uh, just nuts. You know, he once sent a dead fish to a political opponent. He he once uh, took a steak knife and stabbed it in a table and said, "This one dead, dead, dead." Uh, about certain people he was, uh, you know, opposed to. So uh, again, it, we get back into the Sopranos type thing. The guy. Uh, the guys definitely uh, made no friends here in Washington. Um, uh, we had a, a strange incident with ex-Democratic uh, representative from New York, Eric Massa, who said that Obama confronted him in the shower naked uh, in the House of Representatives over some legislation. Category tonight, uh, this is an interesting one. Top ten signs that Rahm Emanuel is nuts. Mm. <laughs> Rahm Emanuel is the guy who's running uh, President Obama's White House yes. staff. He's, he's his buddy. He's his main man. He's the guy that takes care of everything. He's the brains behind the machine. Category, top ten signs he's nuts. You know what, what this is all about? Oh, what is this? A uh, New York congressman says he was confronted in a gym shower by a naked White House chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel, because he wasn't going to vote for the president's budget. Really? So I, I'm not sure here. I guess I get. Were, were they both naked? Were one of them just naked? <laughs> anyway, it seemed inappropriate that a guy uh, would be naked, and you know, so. I punched him. You know, basically took his finger and punched him in the chest with his finger. And 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 Massa said that Emmanuel is the kind of person that would strap his own mother onto a, a, the front of a, a locomotive uh, to further his political career. And and definitely what I've seen and heard of uh, about Emmanuel here uh, would support that contention. Now, with Rahm Emanuel wanting to become mayor of Chicago, obviously he has ties to Mayor Daley and the Daley political machine. I also like to call it the Chicago Democratic machine. 
How did he uh, become uh, friends and uh, ally with Mayor Daley? And I also wanted to get your thoughts on William Daley, who was the Midwest chief of J.P. Morgan Chase, now becoming the new chief of staff in Washington, D.C. Did you, do you think there was a backroom deal between Obama, Emmanuel, and Mayor Daley? I think there's a lot of backroom deals between the machine in Chicago and the White House. It's not, it's not just between uh, Rahm Emanuel and the two Dailies, Richard Daly and, and William Daly, who's taking base his old job over as chief of staff. You've also got the whole, all that, that all those other players, that whole uh, pickup basketball crowd, uh, Arnie Duncan and, um, and Alexi Giannoulias. Uh, you've got also, uh, remember, uh, Michelle Obama, the first lady, and her, her financial connections to Valerie Jarrett. And Valerie Jarrett is basically running the show here uh, in the absence of a very strong chief of staff. Uh, that may change with Daly, uh, Bill Daly coming in. You talk about uh, just the whole Chicago influence coming into Washington, D.C. David Axelrod coming from Chicago. Arnie Duncan, we obviously seen what he's done with the Chicago Public Schools, now the head of the uh, Department of Education, Valerie Jarrett. And it all ties in as well to that 2016 Olympic bid. It, it seemed like a lot of people in the daily political machine in Chicago were set to make big profits with the Olympics coming to Chicago. Oh, yeah. So, so Valerie Jarrett uh, is involved in this, all these brownfields and these, uh, uh, for, uh, you know, these, uh, this public land that they picked up for dirt cheap that would have been the venue for, like, the Olympic Village and other uh, sports venues for the uh, 2016 Olympics. And let's for, uh, not forget uh, Michael Scott, who was the head of the uh, Chicago School Board, who was also a real estate investor in this whole operation. But he was found floating in the Chicago River with a bullet in his head. Mr. Scott, you have sold, you sold the community out, Mr. Scott. You sold the community out. You sold us out. You sold us out. You sold us out, Mr. Scott. Because you're giving false information. Wait, I was back there. I was asking this. Well, give me the right information right now. Give me the right information. Give me the right information right now. I'm going to give you the right information. Make sure you bring some cameras with that one, too, all right? The county medical examiner has ruled the death of Chicago Public School Board President Michael Scott a suicide. But police are calling it simply a death investigation. An autopsy found Scott died of a self-inflicted gunshot to the head. Police officers were called to the banks of the Chicago River early this morning after someone spotted a body. A car registered to Scott was found in a nearby lot. Uh, they try to say it was suicide, but my uh, experience with with uh, th that type of thing here in, in politics in this town is uh, when it looks like suicide, it, it usually isn't. It's assisted suicide, at the very least. Uh, so, uh, so Obama wings over to uh, on Air Force One to Copenhagen uh, to try to wrest control of the Olympics uh, uh, and give it to Chicago. When in fact, they already knew that Brazil, uh, which uh, South America never having had an Olympics uh, uh, before, uh, that Brazil was favored. Brazil had that thing wired, but nevertheless, they threw. Uh, good money after bad. Uh, Obama goes over there uh, on some very bad advice, trying to get the Olympics. It did not happen. And uh, here, you know, we have what the state of Illinois and, and the city of Chicago uh, bankrupt, but they took this money that could have been spent on other things uh, on this, uh, this, uh, this wild goose chase, trying to get the the Olympics for Chicago. This was to in.